What's up, y'all? Brandon with BC Talks here. So I don't know if you've noticed, but Taylor Swift's been in the news a lot lately. I guess she's dating some football player. I don't know. He plays tight end for the uh, the Chiefs, I guess. I don't know. Don't know much about him, but I do know that Taylor Swift is insanely popular, and all the Swifties are going crazy, and it's awesome that she is going to make this football player famous. Bruh, stop it. Get some help. I'm just joking. Of course, I know Travis Kelsey, the two-time Super Bowl champion with the Kansas City Chiefs. Their relationship is all anyone can talk about right now. But what's interesting is that at the past game on Sunday Night Football, Taylor Swift was up in a suite with several stars, including Deadpool actor Ryan Reynolds, his wife Blake Lively, Wolverine actor Hugh Jackman, and the director of the Deadpool movies, Sean Levy, amongst others. Now, Taylor Swift is a longtime friend of Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds, so it's not out of the ordinary to see them hanging out or together. But what is interesting is that Hugh Jackman and Sean Levy were there as well. Obviously, they're friends with Ryan Reynolds and they're working on the movie together, but there are there's speculation that they might have been up there talking shop in between plays. <laughs> and there are some more rumors popping up pertaining to Taylor Swift and a possible cameo in the newest Deadpool movie. Now, it's been rumored for at least a couple years or so that Taylor Swift would be the choice to play Dazzler the 80s styled pop star member of the X-Men team. That's been a rumor for at least a few years. And of course, the comic book speculation market has caused the price of Dazzler appearances and keys to go up and up, <laughs> uh, which is unfortunate if you're a Dazzler fan like myself. I collect Dazzler keys and appearances, which I did that before all the Taylor Swift buzz. And um, I also don't have Uncanny X-Men 130, which is her first appearance, which I need for my Dazzler collection and my Chris Claremont Uncanny X-Men collection. And that one is going to be much harder to get, especially after all this Taylor Swift buzz. But another rumor that's been going around lately is that she might actually be cameoing not as Dazzler, but as Lady Deadpool, which is an interesting rumor that's been going around recently. Uh, now, I'm not as familiar with the character of Lady Deadpool as I don't collect Deadpool comics. Obviously, I have his appearances in um, X-Force and uh, other random X-Men books, but I don't really collect solo runs of Deadpool and Deadpool comics, so I'm not as familiar with Lady Deadpool. But from what I understand, she's essentially an alternate universe version of Wade Wilson, the main continuity Deadpool. So that would be an interesting cameo for Taylor Swift and kind of out of the box for her. Um, and maybe she wouldn't want to go so on the nose with Dazzler and actually have a little fun with her friends, Ryan Reynolds um, on set and as, you know, the counterpart to him. <laughs> That would be kind of interesting. And it makes sense that they would want Taylor Swift to appear in the movie. Obviously, as I mentioned before, she's friends with Ryan Reynolds already. Uh, she's the hottest thing out right now. She's all anyone can talk about. Uh, she's taking over the NFL. Um, her era's tour is approaching over a billion dollars and is breaking records. The movie about the tour that all the Swifties already saw and are going to go see again in movie form broke pre-sale records. It doubled the pre-sales of Avengers Endgame, which you might know was the highest grossing movie of all time before Avatar 2 came out this past year. Um, and so, and of course, Marvel has been struggling lately, the MCU. They haven't had a movie hit a billion dollars since Spider-Man No Way Home in 2021. And uh, the projects have just been going down financially. And... Um, in the public eye as well. A lot of people are kind of down on Marvel right now, especially after Secret Invasion kind of disappointed and uh, Multiverse of Madness disappointed a lot of people. Um, so a lot of people are down on Marvel right now and Taylor Swift would definitely give the MCU a little boost. Now, as I said before, I'm a fan of Dazzler. So as a fan of Dazzler, I'm kind of torn. You know, on the one hand, you would want an actual good actress to play Dazzler, you know, a character that you enjoy. But on the other hand, Dazzler is not such an important, 
important character that had would have tons of lines and need to carry a movie that um you would need you know an oscar level actor <laughs> to play her um and taylor swift has acted before i think she had a role in amsterdam and she's had a couple roles on tv and whatnot and then obviously all the mu music videos which um, aren't technically acting, but there are a lot of music video directors that have gone on to direct movies, so you can't completely count music videos out, but um, she's obviously not an actual actress. Um, she's a pop star, but uh, we've seen pop stars do well in movies before, and like I said, um, this would just be a cameo, and even if she did go on to play the main continuity Dazzler, um, Dazzler, like I said, is not a character that would be carrying movies or have large roles, um, you know, moving forward. We haven't even seen Dazzler in live action. <laughs> Future Brandon here. So I forgot that Dazzler did actually have a live action appearance. She had a short cameo in that terrible X-Men Dark Phoenix movie. But to be honest, it was not a great representation of the character. The movie was terrible, and Deadpool is going to kill the Fox universe, so it doesn't even really matter in the grand scheme of things anyway. And if it was just for a funny little joke cameo uh, to mess around with her friend Ryan Reynolds as Lady Deadpool, obviously she wouldn't need great acting chops for that. Now, what would be funny, at least to me, I think everybody else would hate it, but would be what would be funny to me is if Travis Kelsey had a little cameo if they lasted that long. Who knows? You know, Taylor Swift doesn't have the greatest uh, relationship history as far as um, length goes. But um, if they did last that long, I think it would be funny if Travis Kelsey had a little cameo. And I actually did have an idea. There was a miniseries that Marvel did back in the day. It was Beauty and the Beast. Now, I don't have issue number one. I have two, three, and four. It was a four-issue miniseries, as you can see on the top there. But it was essentially uh, Dazzler and Hank McCoy, obviously Beast. They were uh, going on adventures. And um, now, if you saw this, you would think, based on the font up there, that it is uh, Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Like, if you saw this on a shelf or in a box... But it's actually Dazzler, as you can see on the issue number two. That's Dazzler down there at the bottom, and obviously that's Beast at the top there um, from the X-Men. Uh, you would think this is the Beauty and the Beast from Disney. Obviously, they're evoking that kind of vibe with the comic and the font. Um, but um, I'm not sure how Marvel got away with having the font for <laughs> that um, for the comic. Because obviously, people are going to see this and think, oh, that's Disney Beauty and the Beast not Dazzler and Beast going on some adventures. <laughs> and uh, back in the day, Marvel, di obviously Disney owns Marvel now, but Disney didn't own Marvel, um, you know, back then. Uh, but Marvel did do a lot of movie adaptations. Obviously, they did Star Wars. I have them up there on the shelf. They did uh, Indiana Jones. Uh, they did Dune. They did Willow. So um, if you saw this, you would think that this is a movie adaptation of Beauty and the Beast, but it's not. It's Dazzler and Beast, and they did have a little fling, a little relationship for a little bit, and so I think it would be funny to see Travis Kelsey in blue makeup or CGI with the hair and the Beast claws and, and Dazzler recreate this cover with Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It would be funny to me. I don't think anybody else would be funny. People would be mad, just like NFL fans are now that they're all over the place um, that she's infiltrating people. I think people would be mad if Travis Kelsey showed up in the MCU, but I would think it was funny. <laughs> and of course, another possibility is that this is all just nothing. It was Taylor Swift hanging out with her friends um, and that she is not going to be in the movie at all. <laughs> and actually, I think one more possibility is that she could be in the movie, but Ryan Reynolds could be trolling us and she could just play literally Taylor Swift, she could play herself like people, actors do in other movies, and um, so they might announce Taylor Swift is in Deadpool 3, everybody goes crazy with Lady Deadpool or Dazzler spec, she shows up and she's literally just Taylor Swift, and Deadpool makes some jokes and then kills her. <laughs> I think that's actually a very strong possibility, um, you know, Ryan Reynolds loves is that kind of... Uh, has that kind of humor that he would do something like that. So don't go too hard on the spec 
for Dazzler and Lady Deadpool. Don't be spending all your savings on those books because Ryan Reynolds might just be pulling the wool over our eyes. <laughs> but let me know down in the comments below what y'all think of these recent Taylor Swift rumors. Is she finally going to play Dazzler like the longtime fan casts have predicted? And the speculation market will rejoice as the Swifties buy all their books for and ridiculous overprice <laughs> or is she going to cameo have a little joke cameo as lady deadpool to mess around with her friend ryan reynolds or is ryan reynolds pulling the wool over our eyes and she's not going to be in the movie at all or if she is in the movie she's just going to play herself and he's trolling us all <laughs> let me know what you think down in the comments below make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more comic book and pop culture talk and i will see y'all another day